liberals demand Trump open Mar-a-Lago for hurricane shelter, forget one thing following the massive flooding from Hurricane Harvey, a Houston-area church became an unlikely target of internet criticism. To many outside observers, Joel Osteen's massive Lakewood church was the perfect place to shelter victims. Yet, a few days after Harvey hit, Austin had yet to open Lakewood's doors, causing a massive internet firestorm. Eventually, the church would open up as a shelter a few days later. With Hurricane Irma now battering Florida, a similar story is starting to play out. This time, caving to the internet pressure could actually put people in grave danger. From the independent thousands of residents of South Florida, are inundating hurricane shelters ahead of Hurricane Irma's arrival, filling locations to capacity as a storm build is one of the most powerful to ever make landfall in U.S. history approaches. In some locations, people are arriving at the doors only to be told that there is no room for them there. Frustrated with what has been seen as a lack of communication from local officials, and, in some cases, conflicting messages about where to go, some are asking a simple question, why hasn't Donald Trump said he will use his Mar-a-Lago resort as a place of refuge for desperate Americans? Even brain surgeon idiot filmmaker Michael Moore weighed in on the demand of course he should open up Mar-a-Lago, Rick Castillo said, standing just in front of his beachside home in Hollywood. Mr. Castillo had prepared his home the best he could and was admiring the crashing waves in front of him before the worst of Irma arrived. He should be doing anything to help the public, Mr. Castillo said of the president. When people need help, you either help or you turn your head. I think Trump is turning his head. However, Mar-a-Lago isn't an ideal location for shelter. In fact, it's impossible. Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago beachside resort was ordered to be evacuated Friday alongside all of the ritzy Palm Beach Island where it sits. The resort is located on a low-lying strip of land that runs against the Atlantic Ocean and is separated from the mainland by yet another body of narrow water. Some of the country's most expensive real estate is located on those same barrier islands where Mr. Trump's property sits. Of course, the resort may actually be the worst spot to seek shelter. Not only could it be hit directly by fierce wind, but any sort of flooding would effectively trap those sheltered there on an island. Sadly, those blinded by their hatred of Trump don't possess that kind of common sense. <laughs>